Hi lovely air signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guide reading for the month of June and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've done all the shuffling, got everything organised here and then we've got individual messages and I'll do the timestamps as well from Nature's Whispers plus Angel Whisper messages for you too if you hang around to the end. I don't like the start of the look of this reading, sorry, um, but anyway, there's no time in the spirit world, so whenever you watch this is the right time for you, and this may not happen right now, it may happen a little bit in the future, but the first approximate week, um, uh, <laughs> I can see what it is, I need to tell you, get out of your heads and stop worrying and stop overthinking everything. You start with the seven of pentacles, I feel like some of you are worried about your job. You start with the Seven of Pentacles. This is where you've done the hard work, you've laid the ground foundations, and then you're sitting there now, you're wanting the harvest to come in, and you're just thinking, oh my God, is it ever going to come in? Is this what I really want to do? I don't know if I want to do this or not anymore. Because right next to it is the Ten of Swords. So Sevens it can be all about fear. They are. It is about learning, but it's about fear. False emotion appearing real. So it's like you're doing that work, you're saving up and you're, you're putting the work in but you're not too sure if, if it's really for you and you're thinking, overthinking, um, it, it, you know, everything's worrying you. The good thing about this is that is coming to an end, that Ten of Swords is an ending. It's like whatever shit you've been going through, whatever you've been overthinking about, it's over, dead, done, dusted, ended, okay? So that's what you need to know. That worrying has now come to an end. Here you are feeling trapped. You've been, um, should I put it there? <laughs> you've been hurt, you've been let down, whatever it is here. You've been scarred. Things haven't been working out how you wanted. You might have been trying to buy a house or sell a house. You haven't been able to do it. COVID's stuffed up some of your goals. All sorts of things like that. Happy relationships haven't happened. Um, stabbed in the back, all sorts of things. So the Seven of Wands is like, don't give up, you're nearly there. It's time to break free. Stop the worrying now. Break free, okay, because you're almost there, uh, almost achieving what it is that you really want. And everything is now changing. It's fated. Go with the wheel. This is your fate. You can make your fate, you can change your fate, but this is your fate now, is to go with the wheel and go with the flow. You don't need to keep worrying, because in the next week, of the second week approximately, in June, stop worrying. People love what you do. You're really good at what you do. This is recognition. Some of you may be getting recognition as far as certificates or a raise or an hourly rate increase or something like that. You don't need to be worrying, thinking, am I not good enough? Because there is messages here for somebody like that. But at this stage, you are very good at what you do. People love what you do. And then you've got the death card. So this is a card of transformation. This is where you've got endings, um, some sort of ending, maybe at your work, maybe your job's finishing, or maybe it's a relationship. Um, I don't feel it's a relationship, actually, sorry. I feel that there's some sort of ending um, around you, and it's something that you've been worrying about, some sort of uh, drama, I always say drama, drama, trauma, drama, drama, the whole works, something horrible. It's all ending now. The, um, it's out of your hands, the Wheel of Fortune um, has turned, and now there's an. this is definitely an ending. You are transforming, your life is transforming. You are going to start growing now. That part of it is over. You don't need to worry, and you're so glad it's over. It's your dearest wish card. This is the card of your dreams are starting to come true now. Thank God that's over. I've been wanting this to end, and now it is. So whatever you've been wanting to put out, you've been putting out there, hoping something would finish, it has. And then you've got, with the ending, is the beginning, new beginning, Ace of Swords. This is amazing. This is where you're overcoming all sorts of dramas, all sorts of traumas, Past life things, this is the, the old Ammonite, 200 million years old. You've got the key to unlock that um, information. Um, you've got the key to success. This is like absolute victory. You know, you're rising above everything. You're, you're being successful. You're coming up with new plans and new ideas. This is great. So like I said, it starts off a bit, uh, but then it moves on to something fantastic. And that drama... Um, it's ending, it's just that first week, I think the first week you're scared of the change, 
and you're overthinking everything and you're in your head and that fear, false emotion appearing real is actually going to be fabulous. And then in the third week, you've got Page of Swords. So information is coming in that's going to help you. This is where you can see clearly. This is a, the air signs are the swords where you're the thinkers. You can look at things logically now. So you're going to be learning something new. And I feel that you're going to give that information to other people as well. Share that information. You needed to get clarification. And that's what this is about. It can be done by email, phone calls, text. Something like that is going to be clarified for you. And then you're trying to decide where do I want to live? What course do I want to do? Um, what job do I want? You're juggling too. You're trying to work out. You're looking up to the moon in the universe. So when you look to the moon, the moon can be all about um, deception, illusion. So break through any illusion. Visualize what you really want. Uh, write down your dreams and your hopes. Get a journal. Write down everything so that you can work out what it is that you really want. Because here you are making up your mind or trying to make up your mind. And you've got the Six of Pentacles. So you've got two sixes so far. When they appear, it means that you're on the right path. You're getting the balance back into your life. Six of Pentacles is lovely. It's something is owed to you and it's coming back. It can be, um, you might be owed some money. Some of you might be ending your job and you're going to get redundancy money. Um, but it can be acts of kindness. Something that you've been doing is now going to come back to you. Okay. And then you've got the three of wands. So this is where you're now working in conjunction with other people um, to create what it is you want. This can be a business partnership. This could be working with travel agents, working out a holiday. Some of you are waiting. So this is where you're waiting for your ships to come home. You've done the work. You now want to see the results for all the hard work. For some of you, you're waiting to plan a holiday and you're waiting for the right time. No such thing. And then we go on to the last week in the um, month, and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is really, really good. This is like the um, joy, happiness, security, some, what you've been wanting to feel. You're feeling safe and secure, and you've got enough money for everything that you need. And then you've got a celebration. So you're celebrating with friends, people that you know, um, uh, people that you're connected to. could be family as well. You've got a celebration coming up there. And then you've got, woohoo, the magician and the world. Sorry, I haven't, I haven't even looked at that. Yes, this is like you are, it means as, as in heaven, so as above, so below. So this is where you have been given the golden goose. It means you are magical. You've got the ability to manifest your dreams, make things happen, communicate well. Um, you've got the gift of the gab, believe it or not. So you might be shy, you might be hesitant about talking about things, but they're saying, no, make your dreams come true. This is all about emails, texts. Um, you could be doing journaling, scripting, writing. Write down your dreams and hopes. You've got the ability to make them come true. You can talk other people into seeing your point of view. And then the world's your oyster. You're leaving behind your old life and you're moving forward into your new life. This is like the end of the cycle. And now you're especially seeing you've got the death card, you've got the ace of swords. It's like you're, you're ending a cycle and starting a new cycle. So that is fantastic. And then covering that whole reading, some of you have got to make a choice and make a decision. You've got the wool pulled over your eyes. You don't want to know about it or you, um, especially Gemini's, um, you know, when you're weighing up your options and it's too hard, and, and often with Gemini's, they're always weighing up their options. Um, but this is where some of you have got a judicial um, um, contract you're waiting for, or a, a not contract, decision. You may have contracts to sign. You've got to choose between something. When you make your mind up, you will feel a lot better. It'll be a weight off your shoulders. This card represents too somebody in spirit that you're close to will be advising you and guiding you. It's about following your instincts. And right next to it, look at this. So some of you are joy and happiness. This is the lovers. So some of you may be wanting love. I feel that some of you have been trying to make up your mind whether to go out on your own or whether to go with someone else to start a new business. And you've got that three of wherever it is. Wands, which is, um, uh, this can be a business that some of you are wanting to start working with somebody else, some sort of business idea. This is about working in conjunction with someone to create something new. For others of you, it's meeting that lover, the lover that you've been wanting. 
or the loving relationship that you've got is growing to the next level and you've got the, the empress there. So the empress is often about being creative, um, attracting abundance into your life. It's just lovely, lovely, lovely card. People see you as motherly, as caring. You could be working in the healing industry or the caring industry where you're doing things to help others. So you've got that um, there as well. So that is awesome. And so then we've got next to it too, the hang in, hang in there card, <laughs> the hanged man. So this is about learning too, higher learning, learning things. Um, but you may be um, not getting the results that you wanted. So they're telling you to start looking in a slightly different direction and then you'll get the results that you've wanted. You've made sacrifices and now you're wanting those results to come in. But you have to look slightly differently. And then I've got a message here for not all of you, just one or two of you. You're looking back still. You're reminiscing about your past. So that's where I knew I'd seen another six somewhere. This can be looking back to when you, you might be um, sad about a job or sad about a relationship or something like that. You're looking back and reminiscing. So, um, but you're wanting to feel safe and secure. And you will. In this reading, you definitely are. You, some of you don't feel that you're good enough or you're feeling a loss to do with your past. So something's happened in your past and it's making you feel sad or thinking I haven't got enough money, um, I haven't, I'm not good enough at what I do. Change that immediately. Fives are all about change and freedom and choice. So change, choice, freedom. So you can choose to change that. Use your affirmations. I am very good at my job, uh, my work colleagues love me, my employer loves me, I always have enough money, money always flows easily to me, so work out what it is that you really want and write it down and then use the affirmation because it blimmin' more works, because you've got the five of swords next to it, so you've got this mental conflict going on within you, some of you, and that can be why you've had that ten of uh, swords here too, so Hopefully that Ten of Swords, it's over and done with. You've got the big changes. So you can actually stop being like that because I feel it's something to do with your past and it's holding some of you, only some of you, not all of you, back. Um, this can be where people are gossiping behind your back or talking about you. And you know what it means? Jealousy. That's all it is. It's their problem, not yours. So let it go. Move forward. Choose to walk away from it. You could have mental conflict for some of you, though, around a new decision and around a new job as well. But like I said, as soon as you make your mind up, it's gone. You feel great because you've got the judgment card. This overrides any of those um, doubts. That's what those cards are about. They're about doubts. This is like blow your own trumpet. You've earned your angel wings. You're doing everything right. You've done everything right. Clear out the clutter in your life. Throw out things. Give things away. Sell things. Move away from negative Nellies who go, what do you want to do that for? You don't need to listen to them. That's their opinion. That's all. It's not your life. It's not your opinion. So I feel here I'm just getting to for some of you. This could be parent related um, where you don't feel you're good enough and you've got mental conflict and you feel sad about things. And it's because you're still clinging on to might be your parents' beliefs or what they've fed you in the past. It could be um, information from somebody that's fed it to you too. A family member have told you you're shit, <laughs> that sort of thing. So don't listen. You're an adult now. You make your own life. You make your own choices. You make your own decision. And you're in charge of your life. And you've got abundance. You've got all these awesome cards. You've got the death of that situation. Goodbye. Harira, ta ta. Good riddance. Gone. Okay? Ended. Get over the fears. Think of the positive things in your life. And you've got the world is your oyster. Go with the flow. Okay, lovelies. Let's get on with your personal messages. What do you need to know? Libra, you have got. We're starting with you. Okay. New experiences and possibilities. Woohoo. Just what you need to hear. So don't worry about the changes that are coming in. They're going to be great. Look at that. Beautiful. Look around in nature and notice the new beginnings, new experiences and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. You're on the first steps along a new path. You're being offered a blank page. What are the, the first words that you would like to write on it? Your possibilities are endless. 
You are in complete control of your life. This is a new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant your seeds and willingly venture into new territory. Oh my God, that goes hand in hand with the reading. So you have got from your angels, do not focus on where you've been. Focus on where you're headed. Great. Oh, that's fantastic, Libra. Oh, God, I hope you have the most amazing June. You will, okay? Thanks for watching too. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, what do you guys need to know this month? Show your support. Okay. So this will be to do with those changes. Show support. Show your support. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful beings there. Take time to encourage a colleague, co-worker, family member or friend. Be a, sh a strong shoulder or willing volunteer to run errands. Provide a safe space for another's concerns and feelings to be discussed and be a good listener, which you guys are. Jump in on providing extra time. Sponsor someone else's work. Share in someone's success. All of nature continually shows us the value in creating a strong network. The trees provide shelter and support for many different inhabitants. We are a community and when we support each other, everyone gains, Aquarius. Okay, lovelies, what's your angel message? You are a special person. You do make a difference, okay? You do make a difference, lovelies. So have the most amazing month and blessings to you. Okay, Gemini, what do you need to know? What are your guiding messages this month? Be in service. Oh, that's similar to the last one. Be in service. Oh, look at that. Give back to the world. When we give an equal proportion to that which we receive, we are able to maintain balance. There are so many people who are in need of your services. Being in service can be as simple as a kind word, holding a door open, or joining in a clean-up effort. Look to nature and its ability to support according to what is needed at the time. Your efforts in supporting others around you will help to create the energy needed to support humanity. Wow, powerful message. Go Gemini. And your angel message is, you are being guided by unseen forces. Have faith because all is well, Gemini. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much for watching. And Jim and I have the most amazing month. So blessings to you all, everybody. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely month. And I'm sure you will by the look of those cards. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.